Hello. In this video, we are going to be making a line graph where we have lines uh, above the data and below the data to show the maximum and the minimum value that we have received each month over the course of many years of data. So you can see I have some data on this table that is monthly. We have 12 months worth, and then we have data from 1998 through 2021. And so adding a graph is really quite simple. Highlight it, select it, and go to a 2D line here. And so you can see we have this graph, and we have each year is along the bottom, which is just garbage, because it's showing us the 12 different numbers for 1998, and apparently the orange is February. This is a stupid graph. What we want to do is switch the rows and the columns. Uh, so now we have the data for each month. Um, and we have a number for every year. And so this is um, this is all data 1998 to 2022. Now, what I'm going to do is um, uh, make a graph where we have the highest and the lowest values because it's just stupid to have a graph with 25 rows. We just want to know how, say, the current year is faring compared to all of the past years. Now, again, the, the data here is the amount of money the casinos in Washoe County, Nevada won in these past years. And obviously everything was shut down there for a couple of months. So comparing, you know, I just want to ignore the data from 2020. And um, so I'm going to take out 2020 and, and also ignore 2021 and just see how 2022 looked compared to uh, to all the previous years. So I can go down here to my graph and uh, just pull on this corner. So now we just have the years that I'm interested in. And um, again, stupid graph with 25 rows. No one is ever going to be able to tell apart all those greens and yellows and blues and stuff. Um, so instead of doing that, I just want to know the highest and the lowest value for each particular uh, period. So we're going to find the minimum, we're going to find the maximum, and we're going to find the average. And to get the minimum, uh, there is a command for that, M-I-N, and then we're going to just select C2 to C23. Uh, and then for the maximum, um, same thing, C2 to C23, and then I type a right parenthesis. And then for the average, type the word average in the left parenthesis and go up here and control arrow up and right parenthesis. So we have the minimum, the maximum, and the average. And we'll do this calculation for every period. And um, let me just make this a little smaller so you really can't see anything there, but I don't want to get rid of it. Um, so now let's just make a graph with those lines in it. So go back up here and make a line graph. And uh, I'm going to say max min 29, sorry, uh, 1990, uh, 98 to 2019. And um, so we, we've got to start here. I'm going to argue that let's change the color of um, the, the orange and the blue are just making people think about something that they don't really need to to process, I'm going to say. So I'm going to change the the minimum and the maximum to hopefully the same dark gray. Uh, and then the average down the middle here, I'm going to change its outline color to make it black. And I'm going to give it a dashed line to make it easier to stand out. Um, and then um, I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to delete the minimum and maximum out of the legend. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to type max in there and um, shrink the box down a little bit and then maybe bump the font up a size or two and then just put that above the maximum. And then I just did a control C to copy and control V to paste and go in here and set the minimum. And so now we can see um, that it's pretty obvious what's going on. This is the maximum and this is the minimum. Uh, and then the line in the middle is the average. 
And um, then what we'd like to do is I want to add in the most recent year, 2022. Um, so I'm just going to click on my graph here and click on chart design and select data and uh, going to add a series. And the series name here is going to be 2022. And then the values are going to be the numbers from 2022. And then let's see what we got. And so we got this yellow line here. Um, you know, change that to whatever color you like. Um, I'm going to go with blue. Um, so that seems a lot easier to understand. I'm also going to go in here and highlight one of these horizontal grid lines and then just hit the delete key to get rid of that. Um, because I feel like on this graph, whatever I would be using it for, people don't need to know the exact number. Um, it's important to have a scale so people know what kind of numbers we're talking about, but nobody's going to really try to figure out exactly how far this was below the maximum. We have tables of numbers for that. We just want to get a sense of where things are. Uh, and, and I agree with the people who say getting rid of those rows um, is a much more useful thing. We could go back here and we could just delete this legend. And now we could compare these two graphs sort of side by side. And, um, you know, to me, there's just no comparison. The graph on the right is, is a much easier graph to understand. So we've made a line graph and we have found the maximum and minimum value for every month over the 20 years of previous data that we're looking at. And we've got a graph that shows the maximum and the minimum, and then uh, another line that shows where things are. Uh, one last thing I guess I could do here is um, on these uh, on this line, um, not a bad idea to change the dashes to a really small little dash um, so that when we uh, if we print out this report, Again, it's easy for people to tell that the 2022 is the only solid line in there and it's easier for people to understand. So uh, we made a graph with maximum and minimum bound lines and an average and then the current year's data plotted. And obviously if you're doing this in the middle of the year, you're only gonna have the first whatever, six or seven months worth, but that's a helpful tool to know if we are on track above the average, below the average, how things, are really going. So I hope this has been helpful.